Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this grid wave effect using Blender. We're going to start by opening a new document. I'm going to go ahead and remove the beginning mesh here. And what we're going to do is go ahead and add a grid. And then we're going to open up the grid properties here. You can see there's 10 subdivisions both ways. We're going to go ahead and make that 15 and we're going to make the size 10. We're going to go ahead and apply all those transforms. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and make another mesh. We're going to add a UV sphere. We're going to scale that down, let's say to start 0.25. Still a little big. We'll go from there, we'll scale it down another 0.25. We want this to be pretty small. All right, so we're going to select both meshes here. Deselect the light. We want to select the grid. And we're going to go ahead and open up the parent panel. And we're going to parent the sphere to the grid and we're gonna go ahead and select the grid here open up the object properties and go down to instancing and click vertices now you can see along each of those vertices the sphere is repeated um, what we're going to do though is we want to when you know when you go to the viewport shading uh, Scene you'll notice that you still see the grid So we definitely want to go ahead and get rid of the grid and how we're going to do that is By going to the material properties. We're going to make a new one We're going to change the alpha channel to zero and then to remove how it's just totally black here, we're going to go to blend mode and click alpha blend. And now you can only see the spheres on the instance or um, on the vertices. The next thing we're going to go ahead and do <clears throat> is I'm going to go into the grid and just kind of tinker with the subdivisions a little bit. So we're going to go into the modifiers here and we will do a subdivision surface. Now you can see it's subdividing it one time, which uh, multiplies everything. So, you know, if we take that out of the view, actually, we'll just go ahead and close that. So now we've multiplied everything. Um, if you don't like having the rounded corners here, you can just click simple and it'll go back to the hard edge corners. And I may one more time make the sphere just a tiny bit smaller. So let's go to 0.5. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is go into the grid and select the modifier tab and we're going to make a wave and if you go um, we're going to drag up the timeline a little here if you click the space bar to play you're going to see your grid moving i'm going to go back into the non-shaded scene or actually yeah right here so you can see that this is moving a little fast. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go down to time. And I typically put it around 0.1. I like it to be kind of slow. Gives it a little more of an organic feel. And then, um, actually I may even slow it down a tiny bit more. And then I like to make the height just a little bit higher. It makes it a little more dramatic, especially if you look down from like about this level. And then the last thing that we want to do is start applying different materials to these, uh, to the background and to the mesh itself. So I'm going to make the background completely black. 
And then I'm gonna go into the sphere, open up the material properties. We're gonna start a new one. The surface, we're gonna set to emission. And then maybe we'll set the strength to two, make it really bright. And since we're in the EV um, rendering engine, we're gonna go in here and you can select bloom, which is gonna give it a little bit of like a haze around the lights, just to add to the effect, make it a little more dramatic. And then really all you have to do from there is just uh, tinker with your camera angle, decide how you want it. Um, typically, you don't really have to use a light in a scene like this. It doesn't really do much um, since these are already emitting a light themselves. And that's all there is to making a grid wave animation in Blender. Please be sure to subscribe to see more tutorials like this one.